Natural does not automatically mean safe, and essential oils are no exception to this rule. In this video, I'm looking at their safety record and regulations. Just like any other substance with pharmacological effects, in some individuals, essential oils can cause dermatitis, allergic reactions, and other adverse effects. A 2012 review published in the International Journal of Risk and Safety in Medicine found that lavender, peppermint tea tree, and ylang ylang oil were the most common essential oils responsible for adverse effects. There was even one documented death. Most essential oil varieties can be toxic when ingested at high doses and therefore should not be taken orally without first speaking with your doctor. For example, a teaspoon of carvacrol, an active ingredient in oregano oil, can be fatal to humans. With so little published research on essential oils, there's no way to know what is actually the safe or optimal dose, whether it's inhaled, ingested or applied to the skin. Can they be used safely in pregnant or breastfeeding women? Granted, when used as directed, the risk is likely very low, but just know that the dose that the manufacturer puts on the bottle is not based on any published data, so it's essentially just trial and error. Additionally, the chemical composition of essential oil batches are never quite the same. Quality and concentration of the end product is influenced by the local geography and weather, season the plants were harvested, as well as processing, packaging, and storing procedures. While prescription drugs must undergo rigorous safety and effectiveness testing, essential oils are automatically classified as safe. The International Organization for Standardization does have a set of standards for each type of essential oil, but these are not mandatory and not enforced by any lawmakers. The US Food and Drug Administration considers essential oils a cosmetic, so manufacturers are not required to prove their effectiveness, purity, or potency. The same goes for aromatherapy, which you are permitted to practice without a license. Now, because essential oils are unregulated, any claim that one can treat a health condition classifies it as an unproven drug. This is illegal. The company Young Living Essential Oils had salespeople doing this until the FDA caught up with them. Because the chemical composition of products varies between batches, and the quality and effectiveness of products are not regulated by any governing bodies. It really leaves essential oils in the wild west of health product safety. Honestly, they're very likely safe in small doses, but just know that some people are gonna experience some unwanted side effects, and some varieties can be toxic if you ingest them. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. Uh, there's one more in this series.